Good morning. Welcome to the FTS Bet Slip on Wednesday, the 30th of October. It's going to be a quick one because I've got to go out with the good lady um, to an appointment and I nearly forgot to record this, so she's now clicking her heels downstairs waiting. Um, put some horses up on Twitter yesterday. Very good. Hopefully, those of you who did jump on did okay. As I say, only jump on if you do them. Um, I've got nothing for the afternoon horses. I may have something for this evening. Uh, if I do, I will put them on Twitter. I'm not going to be able to do that every day. I just had a little bit of time to do those yesterday um, and get them on, on Twitter. Um, I know it is only a copy and paste and screenshot, but I don't have even time for that most days. But I will um, find a way of round that over time. Um, I'm seeing Chrissy's spreadsheets Friday. He might be able to help me speed up the process. Um interesting tweet from uh, lord dio about goal times um clearly we bet in a very similar way because that is exactly the issue that i've sort of had uh, historically proven if you look goal times more goals are scored in the latter stages of both halves the first and second um and if you are waiting for that period of time um because it's a lower risk reward um obviously you run the risk firstly of early goals going in so no bet and then if the distribution of those goals, which is random, um, falls down, um, which it seems to have this month on both the first half and second, um, and it does revert back, um, obviously you have some painful months. But um, it is purely just, it's been a funny month, October, for goals being either scored early or, or you know, in games, not at all in late in, in both halves. Um, and that is the exact point I tried to make to a couple of people the other day. Um, I'm not sure whether I didn't get it across as clearly as maybe I haven't even today, but um, got some idiotic responses to it. So uh, you know, and you just think, fuck them, can't be bothered. What is the point? Um, and I do realise then people say, well, then that's only a minority, but that's the people who take your time, unfortunately. So you can't put yourself in those situations, particularly when, like me, you're busy, you're not sitting on your arse eating digestive biscuits. Um, the old elections on its way. Sorry, old Les, you are son. You are you are deluded. I do feel. Um, I'll make my predictions, which, as you know, are normally right. Um, the Conservatives will win the most seats. Uh, there's only thirteen Leave uh, seats that a Labour run. I think I had a look overnight. Um, so I'm not sure they're going to get a majority. I do expect that they will flip some of those seats because people, out means out, get Brexit done, which we're going to hear all the time without people reading stuff. All I'll say, please read stuff. Please vote with um, more than Brexit in mind. And out means out because it's bollocks. Um, have a look at it and see. Um, but yeah, I mean, Scots are going to get wiped out. SNP up there. Uh, I don't know who's going to vote for the Lib Dems, how many people who sort of think, you nope, know, just revoke it all. Um, I'm not sure that's as straightforward policy as it seems. Obviously, you will have Remainers vote that way, but if you think that um, leaving with a good deal is the right thing to do, um, I just can't see the Labour policy of negotiating a deal and... Uh, and uh, then campaigning remain, cutting it, and whatever anybody thinks, it will be decided on Brexit. Um, and that's why I think that is totally wrong. And Johnson probably knows it, but how anybody can vote with any conscience, moral conscience, for a guy who is just an out-and-out -out fucking liar, um, I find staggering. And, and whilst we say you're voting for your MP, we're not. We know that uh, a vote for Conservatives will put him in power for five years and the guy is a fucking fraud and a liar. Um, and I just don't know how people sleep at night with that. I really don't. Um, he is a disgrace of a human being. That is what he is. Um, and you only need to do a little bit of research on him to see that. He is an absolute disgrace, self-serving. Um, but unfortunately, Les, I know you don't believe it, but in Corbyn's son, you haven't got a match-up for him. Um, so we'll see. I haven't made any minds up yet. I will read things and see what's what come the day. But um, middle of winter, not great, is it? Not ideal. Run up to Christmas. And as uh, Lee said, old nonsense night football. See, you've got your choice. Go out and vote or stay in and watch the nonsense cup. Gooners will all be queuing up at the polling stations. Right, um, I've got a, have I got any football? I don't think I have. It's a bit of a bl blank old squib. Um 
Yeah, sorry, a first half goal. I've got one first half goal. Uh, Sociedad, six o'clock kickoff, Sociedad Levante. So again, if it is nil nil, 20 odd minutes in, Sociedad Levante, drip lay a first half goal on from there. If you don't want to wait because of the early goals, back it whenever you like. But uh, the modus operandi is just nil nil, 20 minutes, around about even money ish. Um, maybe a little bit lower you can start drip laying the first half goal uh, as I say I will get some horses up later if I um, see any um, when I get back but other than that I'm off and out of here um, and I will speak to you all tomorrow morning <laughs>